Indiana's debate over constitutionally banning same-sex marriage heats back up. We are talking in-depth with both sides. Last night, we heard from people who think Indiana would be a better place if it eventually legalized gay marriage. Tonight, we sit down with traditionalists who oppose same-sex wedlock. Denny Miller has devoted his life to studying the Bible. He believes the words on its pages have come from God. He's given us a lot of instruction for living, a lot of it positive, and, and some saying, here are some lines you don't cross. And I believe that homosexual activity, not orientation, but activity is a part of the line you don't cross. And that's why Denny, the lead pastor at Emanuel Community Church in Fort Wayne, opposes same-sex marriage. In his view, to advocate it would be unloving because it would be pointing other people away from God's good design, not toward it. I have to hold to the beliefs of scriptures that says what, what you're doing is, is wrong according to God. But what many of us are doing is wrong according to God, and we all need to step closer to his plan. Greg and Andrea Weaver, a couple in Fort Wayne who've been married almost 35 years, agree. They see traditional marriage, at least generally, as the most stable environment in which to raise healthy kids who become good citizens. It's founded in uh, the teaching of uh, Moses and the teaching of Jesus. And, to be, and as believers, we believe that... Uh, the best way to arrange and order society and protect the rights of children is uh, with marriage being in its natural present form. I think that there are complementary roles that a, a woman and a man provide that you just can't get um, from same-sex couples living together and raising children. But these conservative Christians also want people to know their views are not held self-righteously or with disdain. Though they acknowledge there is a difference in core beliefs that can't be easily resolved, they say they do not look down on gay people nor see supporters of same-sex marriage as enemies. It's what all teachers, uh, all good teachers have always traditionally done, pointed at the truth. That's what we're doing with marriage, really. It isn't to hate it isn't to denigrate anybody else. You know, we believe that all people are created in the image of God, in the likeness of God, and deserve dignity and respect. We don't want anyone to be hated for choices that they make. Sometimes um, the church is, is too quick to, uh, to judge and, uh, uh, you know, to make people feel that they're outside of of, you know, of God's love, and, and I think that's a very dangerous position to take. And tomorrow we wrap up our series as each side of this debate answers some common arguments and objections from the other.